all new baby dinosaurs have hatched in Jurassic World Evolution 2. As they learn to socialize, we showcase each new skin color and pattern along with their cute, playful hunting and even battle animations as they bond with their parents for a unique interaction. Welcome back dinosaur fans to Jurassic World Evolution 2 with a brand new showcase and episode where we showcase 15 new baby dinosaurs in Evolution 2. We have right here starting with Allosaurus. We actually now have a baby variant of it right here. Look at that, absolutely adorable. They are Allosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Baryonyx, Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus, Dreadnoughtus from the movie, Dominion, Giganotosaurus, and the Jurassic World Dominion, Giganotosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Pycephalosaurus, Velociraptor, T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Stego, and ending with Triceratops. So those are all new baby dinosaurs in the parks, which we will showcase later on, along with their adult version. But for now, we will first showcase all the possible skin and pattern variations. So, and the animations to it. So, this is of course the Allosaurus with a little next crash there. That is absolutely adorable. And the walking one with the running. Look at that. <laughs> it's got that spirit already down. And then casually resting with sleeping oh with another Ooh, foot scratch oh that's a little bug but that's still too but look at it. it's still so adorable in the previous episode we showcased a beta the baby blue velociraptor from of course the Jurassic World franchise from the movies in the game go check out that video there and then come back to this one as we continue the actual showcase of all these baby dinosaurs so going back to default let's showcase and feel free to pause the screen if you see a beautiful skin but look at that that is looking absolutely beautiful this is going to be a rather long episode so sit back and enjoy it grab some popcorn because later they will be released in game as well along with their parents yeah mom and dad are soon to be released with you in the showcase in park now the patterns work on the allosaurus i like how it looks every baby <laughs> how to distinguish a baby from the adult oh it's got bigger eyes <laughs> So that's quite funny, but yeah, it's true. Look at that. It, the eyes work as well. It blinks and uh, Sometimes it doesn't so the eyes uh, kind of work on the baby there But it's cool to finally have babies in this game Which the first game once again desperately needed and this game as well as we don't really have baby dinosaurs Now I have my theories there which I will continue discussing in the next dinosaur So those are all the beautiful skin patterns for the Beautiful baby look at it. <laughs> baby Allosaurus. Next up, we of course have the Ankylosaurus. So here we go, and we have the good old Bumpy there finally getting her offspring right there. Look at that. A little baby bumpy. Oh, uh, is this the oh there we go? I thought it was it was too stunned. It was like, what am I doing here? So here we go. This is the little bumpy. Now I have a theory while I showcase the animations is for why they don't frontier of course the development team behind the Jurassic World evolution uh too why they don't release baby dinosaurs now i don't believe they have explicitly said anything um about that but um i can only assume when you have baby dinosaurs and you see them getting pack hunted by um other dinosaurs it would be yeah too graphic or a lot of people wouldn't like that Especially, you know, uh, younger people who see these as, you know, lovable dinosaurs. We should not witness the mass and then seeing them horribly being ripped apart by Indoraptors such as myself can be a little bit, mm, yeah, maybe crossing the line. But then again, we have like tiny dinosaurs like Hamalocephaly and uh, Coelophysis and Compies as well who get, you know, swallowed whole. <laughs> by larger dinosaurs. So I personally don't see a problem other than, um, of course, a massive rigging uh, work. So they would have to animate a lot of new animations. Or they can kind of put the animations on an adult Allosaurus because the body proportions are sort of the same. But I do not currently work at, um, for, I don't work at Frontier, so, um, yeah, I can't really say, like, oh, this is the reason why they are doing that. Frontier might have his reasons, or, of course, Universal 
that needs to give the first green light to the ideas that Frontier might put on the table. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes along with DLC since the last one, but that is a theory that I have. We can have theories and that is mine. So yeah, but maybe in Jurassic World Evolution 3, they would introduce something like baby dinosaurs. But I was honestly expecting for beta to be released in like a domain DLC. We got two. Hello. <laughs> the Malta expansion and the Biosyn expansion. So I only thought beta would be acting like a little dinosaur. Because you can still have the pounce attacks and etc. Uh, you would of course require a lot new animations like hunting goats and humans. But that could kind of be pack hunting like compies. But anyways, let's continue with the next one, which is the lovely Baryonyx. Um, we have right there. We, okay, so here we go. This is, of course, the adult Baryonyx we all know from Fallen Kingdom. And here we have the baby variant. Ooh, we see some model edits on the snout as well. It's a lot longer. It looks like a Sukumimus baby, actually. And then with a ginormous eye. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so is this the first pattern? No, it's not. Okay. It resets and leaves on the final pattern. It didn't normally do that. It reset on every new dinosaur. So here we go. That's the second pattern. These are all looking great though. I like that they work. Hey, this is kind of the... Yeah, the skin that the adult has. Of course, a more darker tone. So I believe... I personally believe animation is the biggest challenge for uh, the game. When you're going to release smaller dinosaurs. Because... To which larger theropods and medium-sized dinosaurs are they being able to interact with? Can they be eaten by T-Rexes or hunted down by Spinosauruses or only Allosauruses and like this, the Baryonyx? So, yeah, there has been some theories going around on why they didn't do that. But something like this is, wow, really much needed. I cared about, yeah, remember that? <laughs> we want you as a baby for, and we kindly have that with possibilities like these. So the next one is, of course, the Carnotaurus, which is going to be a very cute one as well. So here we have the adult one along with Toro, and oh, there we go, the 2022 and Toro we see right here. So what if we transform Toro into a baby? There we go, look at that, and oh my word, the head co looks completely different. What happened? It looks more like a majung- like a, <laughs> a flattened uh, Majungasaurus there with those jagged teeth and etc. Especially from the front, but wow. Oh, I just realized we have not showcased the animations of the Baryonyx. That's because the talking in the raptor is too busy talking. So here we have the- go quickly going back to the Baryonyx, this is the roaming. Oh wow, that was smooth. How did that work? Look at that. The little scratches. Oh, that's adorable. And then the walking as well. And the running. <laughs> oh, that's too adorable, actually. I wonder what animations were used to fit the Baryonics. Maybe Coelophysis with the long snout. I believe Coelophysis. Maybe. With that, I have my theories as well. <laughs> But, you know, if these can work on models, on edited modern models, they should work for the main game. Because I do have to mention that these are, of course, mods. And Frontier officially does not support these mods. So if you were to test these out and use these and play around with these um, lovely little baby dinosaurs in your own parks, it's your responsibility and not on Frontiers. Because all of this, and here we see the roaming animation, going back to the Carnotaurus, is a mod by Mitchell Productions uploaded. And wow, the quality has that has gone into this as well is exquisite look at that all the animations work as well they may bug out in game later of what we seen in the previous episode as well that was a horrifying sight for me i won't spoil it because you need to watch that of course video as well but something horrifying happens to beta and <laughs> you could, well i will not actually tell you in detail but that even had to be cut from the video there and replaced by a black screen so yeah that was a little bit uh, Horrify that maybe that's why uh, Frontier won't actually introduce it. Uh, another neck scratches. I think a lot of them have like, oh, uh, yeah, neck scratches. Uh, it would be cool if you were to be sitting down uh, like the adult Carnotaurus. But either way, let's continue with showcasing all of the beautiful new colors. So this is, this is on the black pattern. My bad. Oh, that one looks very good. Now going back to the first pattern. There. Wow. It's cool to see that all these colors work. Uh, still on these baby dinosaurs as well and it would have been cool to see baby dinosaurs in the movies as well we now know that their spoiler alert new dinosaur jurassic world movie is uh in production so maybe 
they go back and well do something different with the franchise who knows that is completely still if we're talking about theories then that's the biggest one <laughs> because we don't know very little about the new movie but maybe they can introduce some more of course baby dinosaurs in the franchise like baby velociraptors like they did in jurassic park i mean we have baby velociraptors in jurassic park the first movie 1993 and now we don't have, even have that in this game but once again frontier might have its reasons Next up, we have the Dilophosaurus. So let's scroll down to, of course, the Dilophosaurus and the Dominion one we have right here. Transforming into a baby. And oh my god. <laughs> oh my word. It's sort of adorable, actually. So in the movie, it's thought to, for this to be like a juvenile, not even an adult. Uh, from what I've heard, this could have been, this can be an adult. I assume so in the Jurassic World franchise. But then this is the little baby, so there you go. Now we're going to the first pattern, and the patterns still work, but it keeps the original Jurassic Park yep, pattern on the frill. That is great to see. Uh, that's beautiful. So it would be cool to see new baby dinosaurs in the uh, new upcoming dinosaur movies as well, but you would kind of need to keep it alive because I doubt that if they weren't going to introduce baby uh, dinosaurs in this game and see us <laughs> other dinosaurs, you know, um, ending them, unaliving them. So uh, that I doubt that that would be showcased in a movie, but maybe if they go back to the old days of Jurassic Park, maybe something like that were to happen but here we have the of course Dilophosaurus before I forget here are the animations for it scratching the frill there and then we have the oh hopping oh this is oh th no can't be that is can't be hopping look at that this is adorable <laughs> that is absolutely adorable oh my look at that oh I'm so happy to be in here it's so happy finally you're in this game Look how happy it is. Oh, Frontier, look at that. <laughs> I might do some my participation as well. Look, Frontier, look. Look how happy it is if it were to be introduced. <laughs> and then we have the running. Oh, it is chasing something. Yeah, probably Nedry came back from the dead or Dutson or whatever the dinosaurs hunt <laughs> nowadays. And thinking about it, yeah, Nedry or Dutson, which one was it? We don't care. And then a beautiful roaming one. Ah, oh, that's... Absolutely glorious. So next up we have a Dreadnoughtus, which is right here. We have um, many variations. This is, of course, the Jurassic World Evolution variant, uh, but in the actual movie we have this one with this skin. So this is the beautiful um, nothing to be afraid of Titan, and this is the baby one. And oh my word, what happened to your head and neck <laughs> proportions? <laughs> It's quite adorable though, but wow, it looks like um, what the body proportions are, in my eyes at least, a little bit wrong, but um, this is supposed to be the Dreadnoughtus from Dominion and then baby form. So there you go. And going back to the first pattern, I'd be surprised because that was all red, but they still have, look at that, they are all red. Oh my, no, my head is not in the way right now, below me, they are all red. Or red icons, but they still change color. Or they all keep the red on top. Is that so? No, they do not. Just the colors on the actual images are a little bit bugged, but that's okay. So here we have the fourth pattern. Ah, uh, looks pretty cool. And then the fifth one. There we go. It's cool seeing all these beautiful patterns on now baby dinosaurs. Because I see them as actual new dinosaurs in the game. They're right here. Later on, they have like interaction animations with each other as well. It would be pretty cool to see interactive animations with their parents as well. Like the newest um, DLC, the hybrid pack, when they got introduced, the Spinoraptor has like social animations along with Velociraptor and um, Spinoraptor. Yeah, has do not have with Spinosaurus, but. The Stegoceratops, that's the one I was thinking there for a bit. Um, the other snack, the hybrid snack, yeah, that never got introduced. Only in games and other TV shows, but not in the movie. It, only the background or concept art. But that can actually interact with, of course, the yeah, Stegosaurus and Triceratops. 
and the Spinoceratops, the hybrid from Camp Cretaceous, can interact with, um, yeah, an or not Spinosaurus, but can interact with Sinoceratops, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, the running looks quite natural. Look at that. Wait, I've, I don't think I've seen this. They do not run fast, sauropods. Is this... No. They, okay, so animations can be customized as well. Because we have um, newly animated decorations. So, yeah. But that's a little bit more tricky than, I guess, uh, already a challenge enough getting new models in. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is a unused or custom animation to make the baby dreadnoughts work. Because, wow, this looks smooth. This looks legit. It might be from a smaller Ceratopsian. That might be it. But who knows, because data on the mod page isn't uh, that long. So I, there's no way for me to verify it. So we can only assume. But, wow. But because it has a long neck. Hmm, maybe Camarasaurus and then, of course, smaller or something like that. But there we go, that is Dreadnoughtus. Now, going on to the uh, Gigantoraptor, there we go. Which can now battle with one of the latest updates against other theropods. We also have a baby chicken. And that is just adult and then small. <laughs> the eye is not bigger, there's no other model edits, but that's fine. I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> um, would be welcome, but then again, that would, of course, take so much time modeling as well. I, I know. So here we go. Here we have a baby little turkey dinosaur. Literally a turkey. This is the closest to a prehistoric turkey we're going to have in this game. And wow, it looks beautiful once again. You know, fun fact, I do have in real life chickens at home. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will not eat them. No, I, th that is something I do not do. Uh, <laughs> I will not stay in character long enough in my own actual home. But we have some chickens. We have a tiny little farm there. So it's cool to see that these were once, to believe, dinosaurs. And now with the Gigantoraptor, I have to remind myself that I need to feed them later on. So yeah, that's great. Here we have one, wow, co colorful chicken. Look at that. Beautiful colors. I really like this one, actually. Okay, so let's play the animations with this skin. The roaming one. Yeah, I think that's just the outer one, but then smaller. They can do that, so they might have done that with the Dreadnoughtus as well. And then the walking one, of course. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Oh, that might be the Overraptor. That might be the Overraptor for this one. I definitely... Might be. You would have to check the Overraptor. And in the special roaming animation, I cannot point the camera down more, but it rolls on its side and uh, <laughs> tries to swim there. That's adorable. Okay, so next up we have the Giganotosaurus, which is... We don't have a Baby Godzilla one, though. Oh, it was before it. So here we have, once again, the Jurassic World Evolution Giganotosaurus. And here we have the Dominion Giganotosaurus with the skin that goes with it. So let's, yeah, give you a baby so you can stop trying to, um, well, let's actually give it justice that it didn't get in the movie um, there <laughs> before it got, uh, yeah, unalived. So let's give you a little baby right there. And this is going to be one of the... <laughs> The model is just smaller with a bigger eye on top of like a very weird distorted baby adult model as well. It's just the head that is a lot more bigger. <laughs> Looks more like a raptor giganotosaurus, but it's cute nonetheless. Remove off some of the spikes on top to of course get the spikes when it's more adult. Yeah, that, that's how that should go. So going on with the first pattern once again. Beautiful. It would have been cool to see the Giganotosaurus in the actual Jurassic World Dominion to have babies as well. But perhaps, I don't know if they will bring back Giganotosaurus in the next movie. That's, uh, that's another theory. We should count the theories. <laughs> How much we're going to have in this episode while looking at the skins most of the time. So maybe in the next movie they bring back Giganotosaurus or any other large there. But I would love to see Acrocanthosaurus with a sail in the next movie. Because fun fact, when I first saw the first pictures of Giganotosaurus in Dominion before the movie got released, I was like, wait, what? That's an Acro? Uh, and apparently it was a Giganotosaurus. 
But either way, uh, let's see some of the animations. So it would be cool to see the Giga to give it some justice in the next movie. Because, yeah. And then seeing it with her offspring, maybe. Or taking care. Or even, you know, later Rexy seeing some of her offspring as well. That it tried to in Camp Cretaceous. Because in Camp Cretaceous, she was like trying to build a nest. Um, in Utsla Nublar near the main street. And in the movies Fallen Kingdom, when it brought over to the... Uh, of course, the human world, so to speak, the mainland. She did not pursue the mothery side. She just, you know, was so scared and constantly created havoc and panic through cinemas, <laughs> outdoor cinemas, and then later, oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh my, what did I just witness? Oh my god, it's adorable. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh, that is too cute. Oh, that is... Oh, that is getting on source behavior as well. Look at that, how it scratches the head like a raptor and then yes. Oh, that is too adorable. I like that. Is this a... I've never seen these animations on... I can't picture it on any other smaller dinosaur. These gotta be custom. No. <laughs> there are 80... Uh, no, 95 species in the game. Or 94. So you would have to excuse me for having a small brain there, as uh, most of these smaller ones kind of uh, fly past me when showcasing the bigger ones. So maybe this is in the game, but ah, uh, this is too adorable. Okay, go to the next one, otherwise we're going to be sitting on this screen for the next upcoming five minutes, <laughs> which is, you know, fine. Look at that. It's, can we play it in slow motion once? We got to play it in slow motion. That's adorable. Can we even change a different skin? Let's get the one from Dominion. Yeah, and then this one. Look how adorable it is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Nibbling on its hands there. Okay, we gotta move on. The Parasaurolophus. Right. We gotta scroll down for that a little bit though. Is that the Overraptor? I gotta confirm it. It might be the Overraptor. Was it the Overraptor? Oh, the slow motion is the one. And, oh, it was the Overraptor for Gigantosaur. Oh, okay. So we got that confirmed. Parasaurolophus, where are you? Right there. So here we have so many Parasaurolophus there. Jurassic Park 3, The Lost World, the Lux from Camp Cretaceous, Dominion Parasaurolophus there. And now we have baby Parasaurolophus. While it's a, a unique uh, model where the actual back uh, side 50 75 percent of the body is actually you know just bigger than the actual head normally with babies the head like the king of the source before this one is so much larger than the body and this one is just yeah it's got a smaller head let's change it up a bit so whoa what's going on with the colors there so all white you can't really see it oh sort of can see it but it doesn't have a pupil or my screen is way too dark for that oh gosh a nightmare paris Rolophus. But the main patterns still work, which is nice to see. Oh, now we're getting the actual stripe, the well-known stripe. And then this one is just called pattern color, not even <laughs> the lithrobates or whatever the name were for the patterns. Wow, it would be cool to see Lux skins. Oh, this would be kind of a Lux skin. Wouldn't be, well, maybe it is a Lux skin, but that, maybe that's too difficult to put on a model like this. And this one is close to the Dominion one, actually. So, let's put that Dominion skin on there. There we go. Or kind of with a blue. There we go. Look at that. You can make all types of baby dinosaurs in your park. For PC only, though. And here we have the roaming animation. Beautiful. A call-out to the mother or father. And then we have the walking and the running. Oh, that looks more like a raptor, actually. Yeah, evolving into the adult form. And then setting... Oh, we see... <laughs> my On my screen, I can see the arms going down like this through the ground. So, I do not know what that is. It looks like a duck on the water. It looks like a duck. <laughs> to just chilling on top of the water. And I was just scratching the floor. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, so that's the Parasaurolophus. Next up, we have the Pachycephalosaurus. We have right there. We don't have a Lost World skin, but oh, Frontier, that's another one. And then we have a baby variant. Same story as the Parasaurolophus. 
absolutely beautiful there. I wonder if you can actually headbutt. Can you dot? Can you actually fight other species of your group and even other smaller sized carnivorous dinosaurs? That's going to be the question later on in game when it gets released against, of course, the baby raptors, so to speak. A lot. There's supposed to be a lot of animations attached to to make the babies work. Of course, they might glitch out where the animation um, timeline doesn't match up with the attack and the dinosaur does probably will be unalive which is this one but maybe some interactions between a medium size like an actual coelophysis or velociraptor adult an adult blue maybe would just hunt down this thinking it being like a homocephaly or a normal patchy but then glitches out and is just smaller in size which i think is the story i was just thinking like hmm what am i even doing here <laughs> and then we have a normal roaming animation that's adorable. So next up, we actually have in alphabetical order the Spinosaurus or the Stegosaurus. Let's start with the Spinosaurus right there. Oh my gosh, what did I do? There we go. Uh, oh, that's Camp Cretaceous skin or close to it. There we go. Jurassic Park 3. We all know the Spinosaurus. And now it's getting a little baby. Look at that. Adorable. And we got the big eyes returning. Fantastic. <laughs> Looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, so I really want to see the animations for this one while I take a sip of my tea. Hmm. Plotting something. Yeah. It might take a little bit of a, si a sip of the tea as well. Wow, the animations still work for it. Flawlessly. This is beautiful. Look at it. Oh, it's so great. So great. Okay. The walking one. Nice. Oh, that is a raptor. Oh, this is a ra Oh, this is Velociraptor, definitely. Or Spino Raptor, actually. Because Spino Raptor is in the game now. Finally, from Jurassic World Evolution 1. But the movement is too fast to be a Spino Raptor. So I think this is a normal Velociraptor. Ah. Uh, that's amazing. Or the <laughs> the sail. Yep, a little bit stretch in there. Okay, there you go. Uh, imagine seeing a baby Spinosaurus from the 2020 um, Spinosaurus design. Because Spinosaurus and nowadays got, of course, updated to look a lot different than the Jurassic Park representation. And imagine seeing like a chibi or small Spinosaurus baby uh, updated and wow maybe that's what I want from the for the next Jurassic World movie definitely I want to see the return of Spinosaurus we've gotten that in Camp Cretaceous but now actually Dr. Henry Wu is like okay um, we've attached because they kind of committed to Spinosaurus looking like that so he'll be like oh this is a good looking skin whoa look at that if the actual swamp colors would be different then it's beautiful with the orange on the sail, with the pattern in the blue on the, the snout in the top of the head, that looks good. Very good. But then Dr. Henry Wu, because he's messing around with genomes and other DNA of other uh, animals and creatures, he'd be like, yeah, we created this other variant of Spinosaurus, which would actually, funnily enough, to keep the paleo accuracy media happy as well in the Jurassic World franchise uh, stuff. He'd be like, yep, yeah, there we go. It, here's the 2022. Oh, look, absolutely beautiful. Here's the 2022 or 2024 now um, design of the Spinosaurus. New in Jurassic World or any ju new Jurassic Park Sega movie um, whatsoever. Saga, sorry. Uh, movie whatsoever. And then a bright, wow, desert skin. Beautiful. Okay, so next up we have the, uh, not the Spinoraptor. We do not have a baby for that yet. But what we do have a baby for is the Stegosaurus. Of course, the Lost World skin, or... Oh, that's an actual variant now. So, wow. It did not only get its own skin, but also variant. So, ah, and here it is, with the normal skin. So, from the Lost World, of course, Jurassic Park 1997. Uh, uh, there, we, uh, of course, saw Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> yep, uh, being screened in the background by Jeff uh, Goldblum. Yep. How many Sarahs do you think are on this island? This that she tries to get close with her camera of course and then tries to take a picture 
a picture of her young, there we go, baby Stegosaurus. Right there. Beautiful with, wow, the spike uh, adjustments as well. They look a lot different. I think some removal, yeah. They are smaller and, well, further down with, like, slim as well. Less in width. It looks like a, a Kentrosaurus from this angle. And then still keeping the Thagomyces. Still deadly. So, yeah, Sarah Hardy, yeah, step away. But, wow, it's beautiful. Beautiful. A nice little snack to my... <laughs> collection <laughs> but wow it's beautiful I can't uh, it would be so sad to see this thing go later in game <laughs> wow if only you know this video wasn't all about battles which right now I'm committing to to seeing beautiful colors and I really like the head I really like the head model that looks very good. I'm not too sure about the rest of the sizes though some model um, aspects and proportions are great but but yeah with the body it could of course use some work but it's so difficult model modeling something like this into a baby but the head looks wow very good the head looks very good look at that that is yeah pretty much because maybe that's why there's not enough lost world jurassic park references of an actual baby stegosaurus available so that's why it's a little bit maybe maybe there's a full concept art of a is slow motion on oh it was on no it was off it was just very slow this is like a adult animations oh wow okay so oh this is kind of baby like yeah that's that's quite nice and then we have the sleeping one leg leg is a little bit bugged but that's okay it has to put his legs uh, backwards in order to sleep anyway and then we have something like this beautiful absolutely beautiful so next up after stegosaurus we of course have the triceratops right there with the mother 1993 which got sick of course in Jurassic Park but now she actually got babies and it's right there <laughs> wow beautiful look the head is adorable wow look at that head <laughs> Absolutely adorable. I'm not too sure once again about the rest of the body though because it kind of Kind of looks a little bit placed on something, but you know, it's still a baby trike It's still a baby triceratops. So I already want to see the animations for this one a little roaming one That's beautiful That is looking beautiful. Yeah, this is going to be a long episode because we got 15 new dinosaurs so to speak and it's beautiful. Wow. Everyone who worked on this, bravo. This is a dream come true for many park managers. You know, because baby dinosaurs are always welcome in a park building game with dinosaurs. So this mod will definitely get a lot of uh, love there. Look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so too cute. Come on. This <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable. Imagine seeing this in Jurassic Park next to the mother. Oh my word. Remember the first time that you saw a dinosaur? You didn't, you couldn't truly believe it. They're like myths. And now they're in our world. Right there. Quote by Claire. Yep. Wow. So there we go. That's the Triceratops animations. There, I'm actually surprised. I sort of almost got that quote right <laughs> from Fallen Kingdom. But anyways, here we go. These skin patterns for blank. And then going back to the first there. Oh, it's beautiful to see the patterns once again attached beautifully to a baby trike. Imagine a T-Rex grabbing this and thrashing it around. The nightmares, the horrifying sight, but then again, it kind of makes me curious on how that would look like. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> so here we go. And later when we release an adult T-Rex in the park. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, that is going to be Rexy. And well, you would only hope for to be unalive before that happens, Triceratops. And speaking of, of course, Rexy. Tyrannosaurus 
Rex with um, the Rexy skin, of course, right here. And the Dominion one we will release later on because I feel like in the next movie, something needs to happen with, of course, Rexy as well. Yeah, you can make the argument that she's getting older. Definitely. That stunned me there for a bit. She, the realization. We're getting older. She's getting older. But life w must find a way for her as well. So I would love to see her actually... I made a video about that, <laughs> Jurassic World beats prehistoric planet, where she actually has offspring, and they get hunted down by the Mosasaurus. It's a lovely project, short video, go check that out as well. It, it took me like a half a year to make that video. It's right by prehistoric planet, of course, the youngsters on the beach. But it, I would love, and that of course is fired for the next movie, is that something baby T-Rexes, not only the Lost World, but then the Spinosaurus updated, this is something I had in mind as an idea. You know, that would also get an offspring. And it's, we would have a rematch between the Spinosaurus and T-Rex. But not adult size. The, the babies would meet each other. <laughs> and start, uh, I guess, teasing each other there. But anyways, I'm not the director of the next movie. But that would have been, been fun. Anyways, here is the baby um, T-Rex. And wow, we do not have a um, feathered variation currently, but we can still look at the patterns and go like, ah, something like that. And we're all we're already nearing the end, but we're not quite done yet. Look at all these beautiful patterns. Yeah, these are the normal T-Rex patterns, but they still look beautiful. I should point them more to the side there. Apologies. And there we go. I want to see this baby T-Rex in all of its glory as well. It does kind of work. I do wish that it would have just the baby from the Lost World once again. <laughs> but this is a custom baby T-Rex. And it still sort of works. Still sort of works. You can definitely see this as a baby. But a model edit. And we actually did have that in Jurassic World Evolution 1. So sorry to that model uh, creator. Or the, the mod and model creator from Jurassic World Evolution 1. But in that game we did have like a baby T-Rex mod already. So let's see the other animations. The next scratch we see right there. Absolutely beautiful. Then the walking. And then the running. Oh that's beautiful. Look at that. How fast. Wow. Okay, <laughs> this uh, this youngster will be a little bit more uh, difficult to uh, capture. Yeah, look at you. Ah, that's adorable. Adorable next scratches. So next up is a quick run through through the Velociraptor with, of course, blue. Now we showcase Beta in the previous episode, right uh, there. We also have the Baby Raptor, so this is actually Beta right there, and all the animations are showcased in that other um, episode. But I can definitely scroll through all the skin patterns, which we explicitly showcase in the other episode, and more furthermore with all the current uh, information regarding them which is like of course a showcase dedicated to the velociraptor there it's a fun episode where it hunts down humans tries to interact with indoraptor and indominus rex so give it a watch and there we go we got all these beautiful raptors and yeah these are just the cute little raptor animations the walk in the running and then the sitting and then the special one <laughs> grabbing its claw there so these are all the current New baby dinosaur skin patterns and animations right there. I got stunned again um, in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, let's head into the park and actually release them. And here we are in the showcase in park to give you the best idea on where to release these cute little additions to in which park and enclosure. So on these hatcheries we have all the babies ready to be released and are on standby there. We cannot however release a baby T-Rex because I've heard that it crashes the game. Later on they will be released in their maximum batches currently only in one and on the other side we will release their adult versions 
in, of course, one. Because we do not need, like, five different Dreadnought uh, um, adults there. The enclosure is not too big uh, for that. So, we release that there. The normal adult T-Rex is, of course, releasable. So, let's start in alphabetical order. So, first up, let's release its adult version. And then see, of course, its baby one. So, first up, it's the fearsome Lion of the Jurassic Allosaurus. Ready and look, kind of looking around there like, where is my baby? And, well, it gives me great pleasure to, of course, give you that. Ah, oh, look at this adorable random skin and color patterns as well. And luckily enough, this sort of looks like the adult one. Absolutely beautiful there. So I don't think because it's on a different rig and etc., it might fall under the classes of Velociraptor. So the Allosaurus might actually uh, hunt down its young instead of befriending and taking care of it. <laughs> but that's why I have uh, combat frequency on zero in the sandbox settings. Next up, we have the Ankylosaurus, the living tank, and Bumpy. Right there, welcome back. Wow, looking beautiful as always. Now, your head. Well, the proportions with the horns. Yep. Yeah. It's not, it's asymmetrical. Oh, so sorry, you didn't, <laughs> of course, you don't like hearing that, but your baby, on the other hand, has been fixed, or it would have been cool to have a different color variation where it does have the horn difference, to have, like, a baby bumpy, and, oh, wow, wow look at that, <laughs> the, the colors, oh my god, it's a baby bumpy, it's literally bumpy, oh, never mind, yeah, here we go, baby bumpy, so I was going to mention, that an actual Baby Bumpy mod also exists in Jurassic World Evolution 1. What's with content being more available in the first installment of the game? <laughs> Same with the hybrids. And now only after, of course, two years being introduced in the game. But here we go, a little bu- Oh my god, look how adorable it is! Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to put on combat frequency. I'm- <laughs> Even the talking in the raptor is afraid. But look at that. Oh, it's too adorable. Oh, we got to name it to Baby Bumpy right there. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. I see the Allosaurus in the back. Oh, wh what are you doing? What are you doing? Was that a playful animation? Oh, that was in the background. For the ones that saw it, or go back. But, oh, what are you doing now? Please don't go hunt it. Okay, it's not, it's not on. It's not supposed to be on. Anyways, let's release more carnivores. Nothing will go wrong with that. And then I believe this is Chaos, the Baryonyx. Next to Bumpy, that is casually resting there. <laughs> you stay the way you are, Bumpy, because we all love you there. And here we have Chaos, I think. It is, yeah, I believe so. It is Chaos. Beautiful. And now let's release Chaos's. Is that the actual Baryonyx that survived or... Was she unalive in the Camp Cretaceous series as well? Uh, either way, let's release a baby. Baryonyx. Oh, it does not really look like her, but... Oh, look, it sounds adorable. Even the baby sounds are there. Oh, wow. Look at that little chaos. Uh, <laughs> oh, it is chaos. Hold up. We see actual blue next to the eye. No way! Let's go back to chaos. Yes! Right there! The luck! The luck on the skins! <laughs> look at that, even Bumpy is like, wow, look at you. You got blue colors as well on the side of the eye. That's a wall uh, coincidence. You better believe it. So next up we have Toro, the Carnotaurus. And I really like this. Oh, wow. Oh. Toro, welcome back. Um, the camera's pointed. Whoa! Beautiful 360. That's what you do to evade Scorpius Rex's attack. So here we have Toro, of course, right there waiting for, right now, her young. That, that's something that you should have been doing in the show and stop messing around and 
trying to hunt down, of course, Bumpy all the time. Or Ben. But wow, you are not the same. Well, sort of the, ska the same skin. Yeah. Um, quite orange. So little Toro is right there <laughs> as well. Next up, we have the Dilophosaurus. Wow, it would have been cool to have the babies released at the exact same time as their adults as well. So they like hop next to their adults and be like, yeah, look at that. The adult is like, I'm picturing the baby being like right here. <laughs> Roaring towards its baby variant and beautiful. Yeah, you will panic because, yeah, the other dinosaurs, they are there. If you are panicking, what about this one? We have the cute. Oh, there it is. Oh, hopping out. <laughs> Does it do the neck frill? No, it's on Compi. But yes. Oh, this has got to be the best running animation. Oh, it's so happy to be here. It's so happy. It's like when it sees its mother. It's like, yes, I'm finally here. Wow. And wanting to break out. No, I've got the fences with. Yep. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Oh, the mother is coming. I see it. It's a reunion. Please go to her. Yes. Oh, please. This is great. Look at that. Oh, this is adorable. Oh my gosh. There it goes. Oh, this. This is too adorable. Look at it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna go play. There you go. The Lophosaurus keeping an eye on her young. Oh, wow. It actually comes close to it. Oh my gosh, look at this! That's too cute, that's too cute! Uh oh! <laughs> it's a little bit bugged because yeah, where is it supposed to look at? But they are actually linked to socialize! Ah, oh, it's amazing! Yeah, you go take a rest there. What would a baby compy look like? <laughs> so now we got the first row done. Next up, we have a Dreadnoughtus. Wow. That's going to be a big one. And there she is. Welcome back in Jurassic World. Wow. And there you have it, an actual dread notice there. Once again, the entrances are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So here we have the adult, and now let's release the baby. And there it is. Not the same colors though, but uh, the luck was bound to run out on that. Ah, uh, it sort of still works with the body proportion, without a doubt. Oh, it does actually announce as a dreadnought still. That is great. Look at the baby go. Okay, so with the next one, we have the Giganto Raptor. Here we go. Where is it? Oh, nice. Walking out all classy with the wing flapping. Beautiful. <laughs> and now let's release the baby. It what it had like a, a Aquacanthosaurus image. Hey, it's the actual blue one that I like. <laughs> what are the odds? Oh my word, it's back. The in the raptor luck is back. And it's so small. I can't contain myself. There we go. <laughs> Turkey. And there we go. Living tick. Oh, there it goes. Runs away from something. We also have some goats uh, running around and socializing. That's quite nice to see. What would a baby goat? Well, we all kind of know what a baby goat uh, looks like. But then again, it's cool to have these as well. And then the the joker the evil villain dinosaur of dominion the giganotosaurus looking beautiful in its own way ah oh, yes 
You look awesome. Look at that. Oh, it never... It never gets old <laughs> seeing these beautiful dinosaurs being released. And now let's release a baby Giga. Whoa! <laughs> Jumping like a raptor. That was a new skill. And I love your pattern. Look at you. Oh my word, beautiful colors. Look at that with the red. That is... <laughs> let's give you a nice little uh, nickname right there. There you go. You are called Dominion. It would be cool to have these spikes still on the back. So the adult actually, after a fight with another dinosaur, loses the spikes that it has on the back of the tail. Right uh, there we see. So yeah, this is like scars on the back. While the baby shouldn't have that because it hasn't been in a fight like that. But this is sort of the same like as Bumpy with the asymmetrical uh, horns. So it still could kind of fit, and that's what I meant with if the baby Carnotaurus could uh, sit like that. Because the Carnotaurus sitting like this is beautiful. This has got to be one of the Jurassic World Evolution's best animations for the Carnotaurus. And it's so utterly adorable. And, well, kind of now I was hoping the adult, just the adult rig and animation were to be on the baby itself. Because this is adorable. And oh, we got some socializing animations. So they can. This answers my question. They can socialize with their parents. This is beautiful. This is like a whole different DLC. This is a major update in my eyes. This is crazy. Yeah, you are amazing. Look at that. It's, it's beautiful. Wow. I am actually clapping. There you go. This is absolutely beautiful. This is like a massive DLC. It's great. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> the excitement is through the roof with this one. Now that I can actually socialize with the parents. Oh my gosh. Cuteness overload. I saw Puppy interact with the parents. Look at that. Swinging its tail. Come on. I can't turn on combat frequency. I just can't. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. It's, it's so adorable. I love how the babies kind of follow their parents as well. Most of the time. Not always. But anyways, let's release a Parasaurolophus. I should actually release two. Yeah. The mother and father. Now just either the mother or father's uh, <laughs> present. But since all dinosaurs are assumed to be female... In the franchise, all of them are just mother, and the fathers are off hunting something, doing different in the lab. I don't know. <laughs> they still need to be had. So here we have the Dominion Para Sorolophus. And now, let's release the baby one. Ah, It sort of has blue. Ah, It even sounds adorable. I'm thinking maybe the Pachycephalosaurus animations on it. Maybe. But it's still adorable. Okay. Let's move on with, of course, what I just mentioned. The Pachycephalosaurus. Is it the same? No, it's not the same. They walk out slower. So the mystery remains. A beautiful Pachycephalosaurus we have right here. Beautiful. That is the parent right there. And then we have the baby Pachycephalosaurus. So the reason that I had in the back of my inner raptor brain is why would I release one parent? And here we have the baby Pachycephalosaurus. Oh my... That's adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has got to be one of the best dinosaur mods ever for this game. Ever. I remember tweeting at Frontier, like, are baby dinosaurs going to be a thing? Back in... <laughs> when Jurassic World Evolution 1 was in its, uh, of course, in the, still in development. Oh my word, watch out for that big turkey! Wow, it tries to take off there. And they were like, no, we do not have any plans for baby dinosaurs. And that, that broke my heart a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But seeing it in here, it, it fills that gap. Like, there's always has been something missing. And these baby dinosaurs kind of make it happen. Because something like this, this is, this, this just screams out dinosaurs. Adults 
with their young, migrating and just living, roaming like that, something like this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So now that the second row is done, let's release on to the final one. So here we have the adult updated released Spinosaurus. And it's like, yeah, that time of your life has come and has arrived to sit down and wait for a baby Spinosaurus. Yep, you can stop being so aggressive now towards humans that might be on Isla Sauna. Or even more now while it tries to protect its young. Uh-oh. And here we go, a baby Spinosaurus in the park. Beautiful. So Spinosaurus, if you can gladly move out of the way and actually, yep, join your young, that would be great. Now releasing the adult Stegosaurus. Oh gosh, it can't handle it. My, my game... The, the cuteness overload or <laughs> there's so many dinosaurs in the park right now um i don't know if i can release the maximum batches of the baby dinosaurs after this oh gosh i don't know oh the power is being cute in the background <laughs> look at that oh my gosh it's being cute with the baby as well but it's too adorable giganaut source baby stop eyeing the <laughs> the baby para and now releasing the baby Stegosaurus. Hopefully the game can handle it. The game is cuteness overload. So that's sort of understandable. And the baby Stegosaurus. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Wow, I really want to know the reason now. Behind why there aren't. I want a definite reason. I want answers. <laughs> why aren't baby dinosaurs in the game? I believe they are saving it for the third installment. They have to be. Otherwise, they would have, you know, introduced it uh, at the beginning of the game. So, um, yeah. Let's release Triceratops, the mother of Jurassic Park. Yes, the Triceratops that was sick is all better now. Glad to see that. Goat, please. <laughs> Try to steal the spotlight. Triceratops is healed. Finally. After, you know, uh, three decades. And finally, she has a baby. Right there. Mm, too adorable. Now let's, uh, l let's kill it. <laughs> it's about to be activated. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I can. What tail is that? Is that Giga in the background? It is Giga. Oh, gosh. You have some nerve being released uh, near the Giga. Oh, there you go. The Giga is uh, sniffing the ground there. It's like, what is happening? It's a cool view, nonetheless. A sort of plane. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Don't hurt it. <laughs> that was sort of scary. But, you know, there we have it. So next up is, of course, we all know, but the Dreadnoughtus is in the way, so let's get the Dreadnoughtus out of there. Dreadnoughtus, please, move out of the way. They will move out of the way once I release. The Tyrant Lizard King, the Queen of Isla Nublar. Rexy, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Beautiful. Finally. Finally, you're about to have a baby just like the other Tyrannosaurus did in the Lost World. And I cannot release it because then the game crashes. So I will actually go in here in the spawner and go to T-Rex we have right uh, there. So here we have once again Rexy and we can kind of give it parents for all the dinosaurs. Can we give parents right there? So what we can do is get the baby one right uh, there. Can we get the feathered one actually? Let's get the feathered one in action. There we go. So we'll have parents right there. There you go. <laughs> the mother or father has actually joined and now I, if I press this we have a baby T-Rex right there, ta-da, and beautiful, that's the release animation for T-Rex, yeah, kind of a bummer that I can't release it, but, um, better than this, but, oh my gosh, 
Yes! We thought the Morris Intrepidus. Oh my gosh, it's playing with the baby. The T-Rex is playing with her young. Rexy has finally did it. Oh my gosh, that was too adorable. Too adorable. Okay, the talking T-Rex would, would very much like uh, seeing that. There. <laughs> that was too adorable. And they finally now have a baby. And that is, that is too cute. And finally, we can release Jurassic World's favorite Velociraptor. Jurassic World's mine. Blue. Right there. Beautiful. Welcome back, Blue. And while I, I think you are um, anticipating Beta's arrival now from Dominion. Beta, the little baby Velociraptor. Which is, well, very dark on one side. <laughs> the shadows overlap it. But it's still, it's still too adorable. Welcome back, Beta. And immediately panics when seeing the T-Rex. It's like, oh gosh, I need to get out of there. <laughs> and runs away. So with this spawner right here, let's introduce some of the other dinosaurs. Uh, that is a baby variation. We'll place another one right there and we can move it to the other ankylosaurus if i can see it in the park there we go that's bumpy there you go oh it's even the same color right there look at that there you go beautiful immediately let's release some of the other ones as well let's go let's see what other dinosaurs we have uh, unlocked oh the dreadnoughtus as well no not the baby this time and yep right there we can have an other adult so the parents are both uh, there and of course uh, <laughs> They're not absent. Yeah, they are actually there to properly take care of their young And then we also have a pachycephalosaurus another one right there and then another para Right there beautiful. Hopefully my game won't crash. I have my fingers crossed and then beautiful another stegosaurus with a different coloration what other one do we have? We have the Triceratops. A normal Jurassic World Triceratops. Right there. And then moving on to the Baryonyx. Right there. Maybe this is... Oh, we can keep the other blue one there. And then a Spinosaurus as well. Maybe with a different color. Or that is only for the baby variation. Let's get... Oh, a nice ooh, green one in. Look at that. Or uh, one from, of course, the Camp Cretaceous site. Either way, um, the green one will uh, will do. And then we have the Gigantoraptor, a normal. Ooh, yep, yep. Black one would um, do very nicely. Then we have I do not know what that is, but we do have another Allosaurus. We can introduce the juvenile Allosaurus right there. Perfect. Um, other variation of the Allosaurus. Now, now we have three versions of Allosaurus. An actual adult one from, of course, Malta, Dominion, and the Fallen Kingdom one, and the baby one, which never got introduced, but now we do. And we have another, of course, Carnotaurus right there. Then we also have another Dilophosaurus right there. Beautiful. Another Giga, perhaps? And, well, we can sort of introduce the Jurassic World Evolution one, but I think... Oh my word, that's a cool looking Giga. It's getting crowded. It's definitely yeah, getting getting too crowded. We do not have a Godzilla baby. <laughs> we do not have a Godzilla baby yet. Uh, Morris Intrepidus, like I said with the T-Rex, mostly was like the baby T-Rex until now. So now we actually, oh, we already have the T-Rex. We can introduce another blue, but we'll just introduce another Velociraptor. Uh, there we do not have any aquatic babies or pterosaur babies, but maybe in the future we do not have any hybrid babies as well, which is kind of sad. Like in Dominus Rex, baby, I would love to see, or Indoraptor, like me, would have been cool to see. But for now, I think these are all the ones that they have, um, both adults now. Uh, later in the comments, I would be like, you forgot this, it doesn't have a parent. <laughs> and then I'd be like, oh, so sorry. But now the time has finally come to properly view this as the perfect, perfect view of, wow, how dinosaurs should be with their young. We have parents and actual dinosaurs in Jurassic World with their youngsters. And it is beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Uh, watch out that you don't step. Oh, I thought that was a baby. That is supposed to be the adult one. And the dreadnought baby is still following. Yes, the adult mother. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The Stegosaurus, they kind of stay with their with their adult versions. But, yeah, they keep running away. <laughs> That's the Allosaurus right there. Tries to find its parent. And, oh, it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Okay, so what I will do now is I will once again release all the babies. I unfortunately cannot. I'm going to do some testing if my game can handle it. Otherwise, it'll, you'll see a cut screen of uh, <laughs> me not releasing them. Or um, actually releasing Allosaurus with their maximum batches of um, other animations. Because that is an animation where they all come running out all happily. We have that with the Velociraptor. But keep in mind, we cannot do that with the T-Rexes. So for the T-Rex, I'll just uh, yeah cheaply have to do something like this, this, and this. There you go. This is the release animation for T-Rex. <laughs> sort of. They still sort of communicate. But there we go, now we got multiple, and they do socialize! Oh my gosh! It's beautiful! Oh gosh, we might need a bigger enclosure. But anyways, we are back with maximum batches of all the baby dinosaurs. Funnily enough, Dreadnoughtus only comes in one along with Spinosaurus, so those will just be the same. But let's start, of course, with different color patterns as well. They're all randomized Allosaurus. Oh, that's adorable. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> it screeched towards the camera. Hey, that was great. That was lovely to see. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I do not like where that is going. <laughs> Anyways, let's release maximum bumpies. Or ankylosauruses, because, yep, they are not bumpies anymore. Or perhaps one. Still is. They sort of has the green color, the back one. So the back one. Beautiful. This one sort of had the Ankylosaurus Jurassic Part 3 skin to it. Ah, oh, it's it. Wow, this is this is beautiful. Life really did find a way. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, now let's release, of course, all the baby um Baryonyxes. There and of course, wow, the ankylosaurs are blocking the way, blocked by dinosaurs, but they have sort of interactions right there. Look at that. It's same with the adult. Oh, they could have talking to each other. And that's per oh that's that's beautiful. We saw that happen. Please go still. Oh, we don't have okay. So the camera was a little bit bugged there because it's blocked by a dinosaur. But either way. Here we go. Whoa, they come running out. Watch out. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, we got so many baby Baryonyxes. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, it's getting a little bit too crowded here, so you guys need to cl step. Be clear. Go somewhere else. Play somewhere else. The uh, Ankylosaurus babies do not want to leave this area. Now they do. Okay, let's release the baby Tauros. Jumping out. Yep, you guys uh, will probably most likely hunt down in Kylosaurus. Yep. Beautiful. That's too great. <laughs> that is too adorable. Okay, let's release the baby Dilophosauruses. Oh, the compies come the hopping out, of course. Well, they're so fast, too. <laughs> they're all gone except for the main one. And there they go. Oh my gosh, they're already here. Look at all of them go! My word, they're scattering through the, encl <laughs> the enclosure. So the hatchery, the first hatchery is done. And next, well, that's the kind of Dreadnoughtus one. So we can kind of fast forward. This one is just with a different skin and the one we already saw. And we see the compies in the background and it being chased away by, of course, a T-Rex. Next up, we have Baby Gigas. Two of them, to be exact. Jumping out, I really like that. The other one just runs out, but oh, snarling. Oh, okay. Where's the camera going? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you couldn't follow the babies, they were too fast. So, here we have two baby gigas. Now, moving on to the giganto raptors. So many prehistoric turkeys. <laughs> 
<laughs> it squeezed through the camera. That was great. These I have not seen before. How come? Wow. It's probably because I was the talking T-Rex last time when showcasing these. So the talking Enderaptor doesn't, you know, I don't I don't have any recollection of seeing those. So next up the is the Pachycephalosaurus. Put them in a little bit of a wrong order, my bad. Oh my gosh, they're the same skin. <laughs> they got cloned. I put them on a randomizer. Um, uh, maybe not. But okay, either way, <laughs> you well, you couldn't the animation still counts. <laughs> You can't see them either way because they're all panicking and scattering around. So next up is actually the Paris Rolophus there. If we can get Rexy out of the way. Paris Rolophus be released. Once again. Oh, that is sort of accurate. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on out. Oh, I like how the camera moves as well. It's like the camera is also it's sometimes it bugs out, but also it kind of suits it where it almost looks like it's made for the actual babies as well. And here we have the Spinosaurus. So it's funny then. <laughs> Hello, Para. And a turkey. Well, it's um, well, a lot smaller actually, I see now. Is that the, well, the babies, you know, the adults got, of course, a companion now as well. But, oh yeah, low health. Okay, so that would actually happen because they can't reach the food enough. But either way, I need to get a move on for that. Well, the siblings kind of get a brother and sister now, which is nice. So next up is the Stegosaurus. And they are rather slow. The adults are way faster. Especially when they are aggressive. Oh my word, the toes, they get spread uh, sp spread out after putting their... That's actually quite a cool effect. Does that actually happen or within the mod? That is, that looks sort of natural, actually. That's quite funny. Okay, and oh my word, Dreadnoughtus does not approve of this. <laughs> oh, that is kind of a socialized animation, but you guys need to get out of the way. Okay, now we go. There's the green light. Let's release the six Triceratops. Wow. Get so many trikes running out as well. That is beautiful. I think I've said the word and beautiful like 50 times throughout this episode. But then again, can you judge me? I mean, look at this. They're morphing into a new hybrid. <laughs> This Stegoceratops. Oh, we have that one now, so it makes sense. <laughs> all right, let's get all these baby trikes out of the way for especially you. Yeah, Rexy, help me out a little bit there. Another socialized animation we see right there. To introduce all the baby Velociraptors, the final ones. We're here again. The other ones come probably sprinting out just like Beta as well. Ooh, black ones. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So there you go, and immediately start pack hunting. Here we go. Da, da, da. <laughs> wow. Okay. So which one is actually going hungry there? Oh, it's Beta. Beta can. It's hunting something. And oh my gosh, the, that list is long. Um, you can't really hunt there. So what I will actually do to in order to save your life is to quickly apply that there. So your yep, your health will go up right there, and I can put them back to normal now. So the question is, is um, should I now looking at this because my will play the Jurassic Park theme song? I cannot because it's copyrighted. But wow, in your head we all know what a theme looks like. Turn, turn. Oh, it's beautiful. That's number 51 that I said that, but can you judge me? <laughs> oh my gosh. It is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I was actually sitting with its young. Baryonyx is like, yeah, I'm a semi-aquatic as well. Can I join? Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. This is this is too cute. Too cute. Cuteness overload. Oh, we see the animation now actually happened in the park. Oh, that's too adorable. It's too adorable. Okay. And there's a massive shadow. Oh, that's the mother. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll get out of there. Jeez. <laughs> I only had a quick peek there. And oh, it looks like you're unalive, but 
It looks like you're just very annoyed or sleepy. Either way, we have so many. Look at all the icons in the park right now. That is absolutely crazy. So what I could do is actually turn on combat frequency. But that would be kind of destroying the premise of <laughs> releasing all these cute little babies in the park. Dr. Enubu, I know. I know I'm about to unleash chaos. Unleashing chaos right now. And uh, yeah, they are going crazy. Oh, that looks like they're playing. They are actually playing. This is adorable. Look at that. It's actually playing with its young. <laughs> playing tag that is too adorable oh my gosh okay so i think the adults will most likely fight now yeah that is going to happen giganotosaurus versus oh gigantoraptor versus baby t-rex what are you doing to that baby t-rex don't you dare oh my gosh okay then we have an adult size no it kicked it i saw it in the background it's still up the baby is strong it what happened there I need to see that. Pause right now. The summer's happening. It actually won. The baby T-Rex won from an adult Gigantoraptor. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we have a Velociraptor versus baby Giga trying to hunt down <laughs> and surround the baby Giga. Doesn't know what to do. Look at the maneuverability. Oh my gosh. The Velociraptor is like, yeah, which... You cannot see me, you cannot track. Oh, it gets around by the trike. Which way? <laughs> Where am I, huh? Huh? Am I behind you? Am I next to you? The Giga's like, oh my worst, would you just cut that out already? <laughs> I can clearly track you. Look at this. It's like, I'm fast and you are not. <laughs> it's literally teasing it. Okay, oh, we do have a fight but between, of course, adults and we have a fight between Velociraptor and Beta. Another Velociraptor baby. We'll just scroll through as they go along. They are trying to pack hunt the uh, ooh, the para right there. But it doesn't have enough room for that. We have the Spinosaurus taking down a baby uh, T-Rex. But not with ease. They are standing their grounds. Look at that. Oh, why are you attacking the T-Rex? You're not going to win. Uh, and an actual turkey versus a prehistoric. Chicken right there, the T-Rex. Oh, did the T-Rex. Oh, that looked like a finisher. That looked like a finisher to me. Yeah, it does. The baby T-Rexes, they are unstoppable. Yes. Oh, I really like this mob. Bringing back the golden ages of the T-Rex. Hello, and oh my god. While I say that, there better not be a T-Rex model. Oh, it's a Pachycephalosaurus. Oh gosh, floating, flying in the air. Oh gosh, and then falling to the ground. That's that that's the Giga's work right there. Who won? Oh wow. The Allosaurus won there. And Dr. Henry is getting once again mad at me. But you actually survived. Okay. The Spinosaurus, we do have some uh unalive dinosaurs right there. Oh, that was the turkey. And that was the Packy. And then the Stegosaurus hunted, hunted down by Velociraptor. Pachycephalosaurus by Giganotosaurus. And then we have one here. Of a ooh, baby um, Baryonyx fighting the aloe. Yeah, it will definitely lose. I'm glad to see that they don't go down in one hit. They don't go down in one hit, which is good. We see a... Oh, yeah. We see a Giganotosaurus uh, taking down a Lost World Stegosaurus. Oh, gosh. Okay, so there it goes. Beautiful, but sad, you know. But this is sort of sad. All the babies are like, they don't know what to do. It's pretty, it's it's a lot of chaos. Spinosaurus has begun hunting down a dinosaur. Oh no, the baby! You are a baby killer! If only the talking T-Rex would see you right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Has begun hunting down, and you as well! You guys are, bit, you guys are bullies on the baby. Look at that. Now going after the Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, it, the G baby Giga. Look at that. Learns how to hunt. Oh, it learns from uh, his mother or father. Look at that. That was quite cool to see. But you are hunting down the babies. Oh, this is an adult. Okay, that's an adult. But still. Really? You just needed to hunt down everything in its path. And then T-Rex hunting down. Okay, 
Alright, I kind of have to take that back now that literally T-Rex is doing it as well. <laughs> Battling the baby tricor, you know. Oh, watch out for those tiny little thagomizers. They might give you a little tickle. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I understood that. Oh, the body's decaying. There, it's total chaos. Wow. And then Giga taken down. Oh, getting taken down by the Toro. That is something you do not see often. Baryonyx versus T-Rex baby. Wow. Or he's looking up. No, it is a baby. It is a baby Barry versus a T-Rex. Will that fight happen? Here we have a Stegosaurus versus Stegosaurus. T-Rex has begun hunting down Dreadnoughtus. Would that be the baby Dreadnoughtus? I'm not too sure. T-Rex and Spinosaurus. Oh, a rematch once again. Oh, look at that. It did a beautiful move. Which one will win? The adult spino. The adult spino is getting whopped by the baby tier. 33 and 100. That is kind of cool to see, actually. And here we have the Carnotaurus versus the baby. Yeah, the the baby other Barry will uh, back down. The Toro will also kind of back down. And oh my gosh, what's happening? Is that a happy animation? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's getting hunted down by the baby Toro. That's it. Oh, and stepped on soon enough by Dreadnoughtus, or no, okay, but we'll actually eat from it, look at that, that's beautiful, oh, the Dreadnoughtus is being attacked, oh gosh, by the baby Toro as well, really, it would take like your entire lifetime in order to finish a ginormous body like a Dreadnoughtus we see right here, Giganotosaurus might take a little bit of a bite, uh, T-Rex will actually fight the baby Toro, and oh, that is a snap, we see Anki in the background, that's great, but not Bumpy, so I'm a little bit worried about Bumpy now. Oh, you did survive that, and we'll get chased away rightfully. T-Rex has begun hunting down Dreadnoughtus, oh, the baby is attacking the baby Dreadnoughtus. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so in order to inflict chaos even more, I'm doing something that is not such a great plan. I'm opening up the gate to create chaos in Jurassic World. While all these dinosaurs, well, it's pretty much there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is a, yep, a snap for the Toro. Down goes the Patches. Yeah, they have been, uh, oh gosh, it's happening. The babies are attacking. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a baby, I don't know what it is. Oh, baby Toro attacking a human. And down goes the human Gigantoraptor now also escaping. We got some other dinosaurs that are, uh, yep, coming here as well. There's a lot of humans gathering. Look at the mass of humans here. So many red dots. So many. <laughs> I cannot keep up. The adults are trying to defend their young. Look how many fights. 65, 67. All up top, they're all, oh wait, no, those are the breakouts, oh my gosh, the breakouts, oh, it's happening, it is happening, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is beautiful, <laughs> that was great, oh my gosh, okay, so Jurassic World is under attack by not only adult dinosaurs this time, but also I can greatly say baby Close to juvenile dinosaurs. That is awesome. And the baby Ankies. They're making a run for it. They're like, oh yeah, we're not staying in that enclosure. We're not staying in the <laughs> in the enclosure of death. No, we are not. Velociraptor has begun hunting down a Paki, which is quite nice. A baby Bumpy is fighting a T-Rex. Oh, I want to see how that goes. Uh, you're back in um, up. Oh, no, you are not. But look at that. We have some breakouts happening. Right now, the humans have already scattered. Look at that. The mass humans that were once here are already gone. <laughs> they have already gone right there. Oh, we have an Allosaurus versus T-Rex right there, which is uh, it's going to be very nice. Oh, high pounds right there. That is pretty good. Good that. Beautiful. Oh, a tail swipe. I wonder who's going to win for this one. The baby T-Rexes are quite strong, actually, which is good. I like it. And oh, a backflip. On the oh my god, the baby Dino was inside the horse. <laughs> inside the head. Oh gosh, that was mother and yeah, mother and um, I guess daughter son teamwork. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Oh beta, oh, beta is attacking something. 
I can't see this long, short glass of the Oh, and along with... <laughs> They're circling around the Gigantoraptor. Oh, that is great. <laughs> Get ready to be unalived. Oh, my word. Once again, Apache goes up. Ankies are... Oh, my God. They are destroying Jurassic World right now. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Bumpy is not having it. Bumpy is not having it. Oh, we got an actual... Oh, no. Barry has actually had a fight with Gigantoraptor. The goats. Even the goats are escaping. <laughs> the goats are making a run for it as well. And these... Well, now, while the adults are breaking out and hunting humans, the babies, most of them are just... Actually finding the opportunity to battle, you know, the other youngsters. So that is pretty cool to see. So we've showcased literally all the animations. There might be some, like, socialized animations that are missing between the youngsters and the adults. But that would, you know, take hours as well. Because there's so much, there's so much opportunity. Right now we see, you know, the Toro. Oh, that's a tail. It looked like a tail swipe by the T-Rex. They, because they are small and the animation is not working most of the time, it looks like new attacks in a way. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool while the other scientists and <laughs> people and, you know, <laughs> security people of the park are pretty much informing me to actually stop. Stop! Oh my word, you draw the line already of having the baby dinosaurs battle each other with their adult forms and stuff like that, not protecting them. And creating a safe haven, which it was at the beginning, but now also <laughs> letting them loose around the park. And guests are not happy with their new baby dinosaurs. No, because the baby dinosaurs are still, you know, creating havoc and, uh, yeah, not fun experiences for the other <laughs> park people. And, yep, yeah, the visitors and etc. So, yeah, all, all humans have left. They have left Isla Nublar, pretty much. And Carlosaurus has kind of taken the patrol around the park. The other ones are staying in the enclosure. But right now, I'm closing the gates. Let's do this. Let's create a, a safe haven for now. We got to end on a good note. So let's put that all off. And we will keep it like this until the next episode. <laughs> Something like that. So let's send literally... Can we actually direct control? Can we send them? Oh, we can. Okay, go back into the enclosure. Right there, can I control a T-Rex baby? Do not sit down. Go to your mother. Right there, I'm controlling the baby one. Wow, look at that range. Even the Ankylosaurus goes back. That is fantastic. The baby as well. They're all listening to me. Look at that. This is beautiful. You can even command babies. Or not, actually. You really can't. Oh, well, now I can. I thought babies because they're youngsters and they're more, you know, <laughs> difficult to work with other than um, adults who actually listen most of the time. Um, well, since they are actually listening, let's grab the other adults. We see a dinosaur right there. We see a compi. Uh, you kind of need to go back into the enclosure. Go back into the enclosure. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. This might actually take a while other than transforming them. So the, th the thought still counts. Let's put them back literally like this. Because mods are beautiful. And you could just do that. No. There. And let's actually close the door then. <laughs> How many others are still in there? Oh, I'm so sorry. We have to get rid of one of these. And let's clean up our mess right there. Let's get rid of the air. Uh, yeah, the poor baby dinosaurs we can also kind of see them how they get of course picked up and transported to the medical facility oh uh, we got some both adults oh no oh gosh the gigas don't have an adult they don't have a mother if i can fix that i will actually fix that that is incredibly sad let me fix that with a new <laughs> uh there you go you even get a different type of parent this time and uh, one right there and another one with a different skin. Oh, they're all... Oh, gosh, what happened? There we go. Another one. So you have three. You got plus one. <laughs> you gained one. Isn't that a fascinating thing? <laughs> Dilo in there. There you go. You won't starve and the other ones won't act like a breakout. So it's even more difficult to actually see them on the map. They've got these tiny little things. Um, where's the other one? I need to kind of see. Okay, you are there. And put you back right there. Beautiful. We still got some dinosaurs. They're... Whoa! They're back in the hatchery! I scared them too much. 
Um, go back, right there. There you go. <laughs> inside the hatch. <laughs> that was quite funny. The Giga, the baby Giga. Oh no, you were searching for your parents. That's sad. Let me place you literally next to your parents. I mean, not the unalive ones, the new ones. Yeah, nothing happened to them. They're all alive. <laughs> Same with you. Along with, is that beta? No, it's not, but it might, could have been beta. Put you back. I see you. Big uh, there. Nope. Grab you. There. There we are. And how many are we still left? I think Jurassic World in this showcasing park is fine. So let's speed up the progress. And let's say goodbye to some of the unalive actual baby dinosaurs. Oh my god. It's glitched out for most of the cases. Yeah, it's going all over the place. So it doesn't really work. But. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh gosh. That is too sad. Let me properly follow it. Okay, now it works. Now it sort of works. But it went berserk. Oh gosh, there it goes again. Oh gosh. Oh my god, the bones. The bones, the bone cracking. Oh, and we're, we almost joined that there. So let's speed this up. Oh, we got another one down. Oh, that's too sad. I couldn't remove it in time. There we go. Let's clean it up. They're actually... Well, hold, hold on. Hold on a second. I know what you guys are doing. Intelligence is off. Intelligence is off and everything is off. So why are you guys feeling to attack it? This is the safe haven that I kind of promised. The guests are back as well. They uh, they're happy, happily enjoying their Jurassic Park, so to speak. So here we go. Finally, without okay, that is um pretty extraordinary. That's pretty cool. So let's put you back where you belong and let's put a Ranger Patrol right right there. Okay, so here we go. And that's beautiful. And here we are. So that is the complete showcase of the baby dinosaurs as a new mods. Yeah, new mod dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like this mod. Metro Productions and everyone else worked uh, working and has been working, still working. Maybe in the future they will release more because I would love to see a baby in Dolph Jax, baby in the Raptor, and etc. Giganotosaurus, please don't break out right there. But, anyways, <laughs> this has been great showing all the view skins, patterns. Animations, socialized animations, battle animations, and even a breakout. Some of them have like the Raptor Pounds animations, which is great. And it's been a blast to showcase them. So let me know what you think of these baby dinosaurs down in the comments box below. This has been a fantastic, long, and hopefully enjoyable episode for you guys as well. The beautiful dinosaur and Jurassic World fans who always wanted baby or like tiny little juvenile dinosaurs in your parks and it is possible with this mod now that we have allosaurus and colosaurus baryonyx carnotaurus dilophosaurus dreadnoughts gigantoraptor giganotaurus para patchy velociraptor tyrannosaurus rex spino stego and triceratops hopefully all the rest so those are 15 and i think we have around about like 90 so there's like still 70 or 75 <laughs> other genomes that need to get their uh youngsters in there such as some of the hybrids maybe if the mod does well enough they would create more who knows i would love to see that or frontier please see this as a opportunity either for a future dlc or update who knows we could also or we could always forward it to them as ideas continuation ideas for this game or they would if they were to make a, another game um, but because Jurassic World Evolution 2 is still active still so the first thought would to add them into this game if not maybe then in a possible Jurassic World Evolution 3 who knows or if they never make that we still have the mod but for console players it is an unfortunate loss but great for PC players to finally have baby variants in your parks which is fantastic these are great additions to enclosures and other types of areas as well you can have different types of weathers with them as well we can showcase them in light rain as well i kind of forgot to showcase that the fence is broken but you know that always happened in jurassic park so i'm gonna just leave it but having seeing them in heavy rain as well this is great you can have all sorts of different yeah even snow environments with these baby dinosaurs which is absolutely amazing even a dust storm look at that to fit more of the carnotaurus <laughs> that is actually pretty cool 
a snowstorm right there. That's enough fighting for today. Let's uh, revert it back into it being a paradise and give our newly hatchlings a well-earned meal, although the spider and Barry <laughs> prefer the fish as always. And once again, the Giga tried to claim all the food, just like in Dominion. From Rexy, this is canon after all. Even the tiny lovely herbivores are enjoying a small snack and gather around to eat in peace. And quite a rare sight seeing a baby T-Rex and baby Spinosaurus befriending each other instead of creating absolute chaos in the park once again. Same goes for this team. Thank God no prehistoric crocs are swimming in this river to grab them. So I'm going to end it here. If you'd like to see more episodes starring, of course, these baby dinosaurs and dinosaurs in general in Jurassic World Evolution 2 showcase and episodes, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It was a great long episode there. Hope to see you again, hybrid and Jurassic World and dinosaur fans next time. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you'd like to see other episodes featuring these baby dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution, go check these out right here and I'll see you there.